guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this colorful eye makeup look. I had a request a couple weeks ago, or maybe more, to do a look with more color, so I hope this counts. I hope this satisfies. Don't forget to give this video a like if you like it, and subscribe if you're not already. Let's get to the makeup. I've already primed my lids and set the primer and done my brows. So to start on the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to take the shade Buon Fresco. And that's going to be my transition shade. So I'm going to sweep that just above the crease and blend it out. So I'm going back into the palette and picking up just a little bit extra. So just kind of layering the color on and then blending it out. Next, I'm taking the shade Red Ochre and applying that to my outer corner on the lid. And I like to just blend in circular motions this part. And then when most of the color is off the brush, I just kind of go lightly over the edge of where I applied that color so it kind of blends out into the transition shade. And once that's pretty much even on both sides, I'm going to reach into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Or my favorite black eyeshadow. So I'm switching over to a smaller brush because I want to be more precise with the darker shade. So I'm starting to apply that just on the outer corner on the lid. Starting in a really small area, blending in circles, and then I'm going to diffuse it outwards as I go. Kind of creating a small V right there in the outer corner. And since I want to do a really bright color on the inner corner, I'm going to first put down a little bit of white eyeshadow as a base. And for that, I'm going to use this white shade here in the Cap Lumpy Shade and Light Eye Palette. And I'm just taking a small brush and dabbing that on the inner corner. I'm kind of sweeping it on the inner corner of the lid as well. And for my bright shade, I'm going in with Fran from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Which is this bright yellow right here. And I'm going to blend that out a little bit using a clean blending brush. Just kind of going around the edges. I'm going to go in with a little bit more red ochre from the Anastasia palette just to blend everything a little bit better. And this time I'm also taking that color more towards the center of the lid and the inner corner to blend into that yellow. Now I'm going to add some liquid liner. I'm using the Ardency in Waterproof Liquid Liner in black. And since my wings ended up being a little bit longer than I anticipated, I'm going to go back in with some more black shadow.
Now I'm gonna tight line using my Marc Jacobs pencil. And I'm going to go back in the inner corners with my liner pen, just to make things a little bit cleaner. I want the inner corner liner to come to a defined point. So that's what I've done here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. My liner ended up bleeding a little bit on this side, which I'm not too happy about. So I'm not sure I would recommend a really liquidy formula for this. This might work better with like a gel liner. I'll remember that for next time. And now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take that same light purpley shade, Juan Fresco, and sweep that along the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take Love Letter from the Anastasia palette and draw that even closer to the lash line. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black on an angled brush and just stick that right in the outer corner. Really close to the lash line. Now I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs liner pencil again and go over the lower lash line with that. And I really wanna get it in the lash line, like on the lashes. I'm not so much doing just my waterline here or under it. I really want to get super close in the outer corners of the lash line. And if you get a bit on your waterline, that's fine too. But I don't want to line the waterline all the way into the inner corner. I kind of want to keep the focus in the outer corner here. And then you can kind of smudge it out using a brush. For mascara, I'm using my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. And for lashes, I'm using my Flutter Lashes in Blake. Now that the lashes are on, I decided I wanna make the inner corners pop a little bit more, so I'm gonna take a white pencil liner. This is the Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. I'm gonna line the waterline of the inner half of my eye. So this is the finished eye look. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face, and then I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.